Now I've recently published a brand new course on my website called Photoshop Lighting Effects. And one of the techniques in there is where I show how you can recreate the look of neon lighting. Now in the technique, in addition to some text, I also use a light bulb shape that is one of the shapes found in Photoshop. However, I've had a couple of messages from people saying they can't find it. So here's the fix. Now shapes and gradients in Photoshop have been updated over recent times, so it might now be that when you go to use the shape tool by coming over to the toolbar or by pressing U on the keyboard and choosing the custom shape tool option, when you go to choose your shape, you might find now that you only have these four folders, wild animals, leaf trees, boats and flowers. And when we look inside these folders here, they're probably not the most practical of shapes for what you want to use. So where are these legacy shapes? Well, let's just kind of delete that layer there. I'll just add another layer because we're going to add a shape to it. All you need to do to find them is go to the window menu, come down to the bottom where it says shapes. That then opens up this property box here where again you can see those four folders. However, if you come to the top right hand corner, you'll see these small three horizontal bars. This is often referred to as the hamburger. If you click on that, there's now another menu. And sure enough, right down the bottom, it says legacy shapes and more. All we need to do is click on that and you'll see that it adds it in to the bottom. And this is where all those practical shapes are hidden. It'll also now be added into the uh, folder menu right at the top of the screen where you would ordinarily go, I would say, to choose your shape. So you'll see it there. Now, when it comes to actually finding that light bulb then for the tutorial, all you would do is open up legacy shapes and more, then all legacy default shapes and another folder called legacy default shapes. And sure enough, if we scroll down, there is that light bulb that we can now then add to our image, which just incidentally has been set to pixels, as you can see here in the top left hand side of the screen. Now, before I disappear, just one thing to kind of talk about with these uh, shapes here is it might be that in the time that you've been trying to find these practical shapes, this legacy shapes and more folder, you may have inadvertently pressed the append menu. So if I'll show you where that is, if you just open up on the top here, we've got this little cog icon. If we click on that, you'll see this append default shape. So you may have clicked on that thinking that that will just kind of reset your shapes so that the legacy ones will appear. But when we click OK, all it basically does is add in duplicate copies of the default folders, which are these wild animals, leaves, trees, boats and flowers. So if you've got loads of folders in here that just need tidying up, it's very easy to do. Just come to the window menu, choose shapes. Here, obviously, we've got those folders and here are our duplicates. OK, so you can either do this individually or just click on one of them so it's highlighted. Hold down the shift key, click on the very bottom one so they're all now highlighted and then go to the trash can icon. Click on that and then click OK and you'll see that they're deleted. Now, it might be you accidentally delete a folder that you don't intend to do, like this one here called Flowers. If I now delete that from my default folders, but for some strange reason I wanted it back, that is when I would then use the Append menu. However, when we do that, it will then add in not just the flowers, but a copy of all the other ones which were already there. So you just obviously quickly come in and delete those as well. But that is where the legacy default uh, shapes and more folder is hidden. So if you've been struggling to find that legacy shapes folder, I hope this short video helps, but that's it. We're done. I'll catch you next time.